cats in the cradle with a silver spoon. I'd rather be a man on the moon because I'm so sick of this news. The world is going fucking nuts with this coronavirus news. Hell, send me to fucking Venus where I get my dick sucked 24 7 by hot chicks. Now, a viewer from my last video, which is coronavirus news, if you want to call it that, um, real, uh, true news, um, someone said I should check out something I've never heard of called Canon. I think it's pronounced Canon or Quanon. It's Q-A-N-O-N. That, again, that's Q A N O M. I'm going to call it canon. Fuck it. Like I give a shit if I'm pronouncing it right. So, I'm going to be honest. Before I go into the little notes that I did put about this subject, I'm, I do do video requests. So, And I'm going to also let you know that I really don't want to fucking talk about these motherfucking people. I don't. And, I, and quite frankly, I wish I never fucking heard of them. But since I did, let's fucking talk about it. And this is a video request. I forgot his name. Wish I would have put it down here. But you know who you are. And thank you for um, letting me know about these fucking fools. And if you are a part of canon, well, get out while you can. Because you're deluding yourself. Now, on with the video. Canon. How I'm pronouncing it once again. It's based off conspiracy theories yep my floor is creaking with disapprovement one day I might fall through this motherfucker doing a video okay the movement started in 2017 from an anonymous account anonymous account known as Q, posted wild conspiracy theories about <gasps> President Trump. Oh. oh, my God. Orange man, bad. He needs a spank on the ass. Um, other words... These are, these are people who seek attention because they never got it as kids. Who see Mr. Orange Man as a devil himself while his supporters see him as the second coming of Jesus Christ. Who is Superman that can do all sorts of fucking wonderful things. And it's their Lord and Savior. Fuck the God of the Bible. Fuck, fuck Louis Farrakhan. Fuck... Allah, fuck Buddha, we're going to pray to fucking Trump because he's the fucking savior. While others are saying, no, he's not the savior because he doesn't have the power to get rid of the virus. He doesn't have the fucking power. We wish Obama was in office. Fuck, we'll even take Hillary because they have the power to get rid of the virus, but they don't have the power because they're not in the Oval Office. They're not the president of the United States. Moving on. Oh, it's also, uh, Q is also made up of individuals who were, were fucking freaking out back when Trump got the election or when he won the fucking election in November of 2016, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, losing their fucking minds, man. I'm not going to fucking lie. I watched compilation after compilation of videos of people freaking out over Trump. And I got to say. I quite fucking found them enjoyable. And at the same time, I was like, what the fuck are you guys smoking? Moving on. Um, I've heard some conspiracy theories. And none of them made a lick of sense to me. That's the reason why I don't fucking believe them. And this is the model that I go by. If it doesn't make fucking sense, don't believe it. 
Why believe something when it makes no fucking sense? Don't be yes men and fucking women, okay? Oh, that's the truth. Oh, listen and believe. Just like religion. Listen and believe. I like the way you tell me that. I'm not going to brainstorm to see if it makes sense to chew on it. I'm just going to fucking swallow it whole. Because that's how you're supposed to eat food, right? You have, you have to fuck just take it in your mouth and swallow that shit. You don't chew on it. Fuck the teeth. Fuck the teeth. You don't chew on it. Teeth are just there for fucking decoration. You have to fucking swallow that shit. And that's very fucking healthy, right? You know, it's... it's it's nuts, man. It's this Q shit. It's conspiracy theory shit. It's fucking insane. You know, what can I say, man? What can I fucking say? <sighs> man, I'm moving on. I mean, I talked about Q enough. I'm moving on. Let's talk about the next subject. Um, Trump says, yeah, we're on Trump again. I know, right? Trump says we're opening the U.S. up with or without a vaccine. So some people lost their fucking shit. They got their panties in a bunch and all that. And I read from a source. It said um, the death toll is reaching or above 90 million. Like how dare he say those things? The death toll is over 90 million worldwide being the key word here. And I'm going to tell you why it's the key word after I read this, this snippet that I, rec that, I, that I wrote down. Okay. Uh, another source says 4.5 million people globally got infected and at least 305,395 died globally. So it's basically saying, how dare the president say they're going to open up the, the U.S. again for trades and everything. Uh, jobs can't stay closed forever. Fuck that shit. Fuck that, fuck that fact that you can't stay out of business forever. We need to fucking live. We got, we got to make money. We have to prosper. We can't just stand and look at the fucking sun and say, ah, isn't the day lovely? Shit ain't going to get done. You're going to go hungry and you're going to fucking die. You have to get back in business. They can't stay closed forever. Am I totally in favor of an opening up uh, the U.S.? No, but, I, but, I, but I'll be damned if I'm going to tell you I don't understand it. Shit, people want to get back to work. Businesses want to fucking resume. I understand that. It's like shit. <laughs> Trump's only concern should be the U.S. That's it. Because the U.S. president. He's not the world president, ladies and gentlemen. Got motherfuckers on the damn moon talking about Trump is bad. As a U.S. president. Even though I live on a fucking moon. He doesn't have authority over here. And what goes on on the fucking moon. But. I just don't like him as president of the U.S. Oh my God. Oh. Yeah so. That's my thoughts on that shit. Okay, we got two more. We're almost there. Here we go. The odds of dying from the coronavirus is 1 in 3,700 something people. I don't know if you can take that as good news or bad news. I heard it from a radio station, so I rushed to my fucking pad and paper to write it down. I I, I didn't catch the three. I for, I, rather, I forgot the 300 and something. I forgot the, what they said. I got the part when they said 700. No, I got the part when it said 3,000, but the 700, I forgot the in something. That's why I put in something. 
So I was close, goddammit. So anyways, you can take that as good news or bad news. I don't care. I guess you, I guess I guess I'm kind of in the middle of it. It gives me a little bit of fucking hope. You know. I'm surprised I ain't got the fucking shit yet, to be honest. Because I'm in a fucking hot spot right now. So. So, yeah. One in 7,700 and some people. That Those who are going to catch it. Now, I'm assuming that this statistic is uh global wide worldwide not just fucking in america or canada or what have you it's global that's what i'm assuming but yeah so and the last thing is that uh young men loitering around with fucking masks How do I feel about this? I don't like it. Especially since I live in fucking Chirac. And motherfucking niggas got a trigger finger over here and shit. So one guy told me, he said, with the mask on, they'd be more bold to do crimes. I said, shit, I wouldn't put it past them. Shit's bad enough when I'm waiting on a bus stop next to the motherfuckers. Or they're across the street. From me when I'm waiting on a bus stop. Niggas in particular. Or in layman's terms. African American people or colored people. With masks. Give me the fucking creeps. Especially when they look at me like. This one guy in the mask. I got off the bus. This one guy was coming towards me. He was a. You know. Dressed like a fucking thug. Looked like he about to kill somebody. Probably already fucking did. Who knows? Coming towards me like. And I, and I was like. <laughs> and he just walked past. I thought he was going to do something to me. He got that fucking black mask on. Shit. Holy fuck. I can't wait till this shit is over, man. People stop. T people take these fucking masks off. <laughs> shit. Because I'm wearing mine 24 fucking 7. As long as I'm outside, I got my mask and my fucking latex gloves on and shit. My latex condom gloves on. So, so yeah. Um, that's, that's the news. That, that's the news portion, rather. I still got more shit written down, but I don't want to make these videos like 30 minutes long and shit. So I just take some shit down. You know, I got some more to come. It may not be today because I did two already on this fucking Corona shit. So, yeah, it may be tomorrow. Maybe the next day I'll do another one. So, but stay tuned. I do have a playlist based on this that you can check out. Uh, it's called the Coronavirus Series or some shit. You check it out, you know. Didn't think it was going to become a series. I said, why the fuck not? Everybody else is talking about it. Why not me? I am a vlogger after all. <laughs> so, with that being said, this is Y Chromosome. Signing out. Peace and love. Good health to you out there. And uh, stay safe.